Rad Studio 11.2 introduces the ability to view Markdown documents inside the IDE. So here we have a Markdown document in preview. We can see code snippets, images embedded, and you can also add tables and other Markdown elements in terms of different headers and so on. Let's have a look at the code behind here, and we can see the different header elements, uh, bullet points, image embedded, and so on, and the code block. We can also have a look at the history and see how this document has changed over time, including having a look at the information and also do side by side compare. Additionally, we have reintroduced in 11.2 HTML support for code editing and preview. Now, this was uh, removed in an earlier 11 version just whilst dependencies around Internet Explorer were sorted. And this is now all done, and you can see we have nice code insight in here telling us where elements should be if they're in the wrong place, uh, and also kind of the, the gutter used in the way that we'd expect for any other style of code. Now, one of the things that makes these features really useful, especially around working with open source projects, is the ability to set a default page. So let's go and close this project and reopen it and you'll see here that the markdown document is viewing by default and if we go to project page options project page options here we can see that we can select either the html or the markdown document from within the project as the default page this means that you can put the information immediately into the hands of developers as they open and connect with the project a really useful usability feature